really, looks really nice. He has really nice fiber. When Pam Randall lays out her fiber, she knows right down to the very alpaca it came from. And that, she says, is the beauty of having a barnyard full of her very own. I love having them here. I love having my own fiber. I know who's covering this. I know who's covering that as far as the alpacas. So that's, that's fun to me. Years ago, when Pam first started weaving with alpaca fiber, she focused mostly on cold weather wear. The only problem... In, in the summer, you know, it was 70, 80 degrees. It was hard to sell, you know, a, a scarf or, or some yarn. So that is when she expanded her line to include soap, felted soap, which today accounts for the bulk of her business. Singular bars of natural homemade soap all encased in soft, scrubbable alpaca fiber. First, it's naturally hypoallergenic, and it acts like a very soft loofah, so it's great for your skin. From inside her circa 1700s farmhouse in Buxton, Pam, by hand, wraps every bar, adhering the fibers and soap together. All the while... So this will be the robin creating little works of Maine-themed art. The birds, blueberries, and lobsters that adorn each bar, all hand-stitched one at a time. It gives me a chance to basically draw with the fiber and make something different each, not even each day, but each soap is different. This latest batch is destined for retail shops in Portland and Bath. To the buyers, they're simply getting some nice felted soaps. So this is um, precious in Mooney. But for Pam, it's a little more personal. And that's the joy of working with her own homegrown fiber. She knows exactly who's covering this soap and who's covering that soap. Victor. This is all cover covered with Victor's fiber. And by the way, the uh, soap Pam uses is a handmade natural soap made by a woman in Fort Kent. So the uh, felted soap that she makes is totally a made in Maine product.